I'm Brenda and you're watching 30 Miles Out. Welcome to 30 Miles Out Kayak Fishing TV. Miles Out is presented by McCain High Performance Graphite Rods. Make every cast count. Tyne Treese's kayaks are provided by Mariner's Sails, Wind and Paddle Sports. Good morning, everybody. It is early 441. I'm headed to pick up my buddy Jason on the island. We're headed to do some BTB offshore. We got one mile an hour winds this morning. The seas are super, super low. And I can't wait. About to get on the ferry, pick him up. Let's see what happens with Jason this morning. BTB. Jason had contacted me a while back about doing a BTB charter. If the seas were right, it's time to go. What's happening, man? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> what? I think he's ready to go. Let's do this. All right, let's hit the beach, man. All right, brother, let's go. Right. It's your first time, right? That's it, first time out there. Oh, man, he's gonna have a blast. We got a beautiful morning, one mile an hour winds, low seas, like one foot. Let's do it. Tying on fish bags because we have faith that we're gonna run into something today. Yeah! Now we're launching in the dark. Get ready, people, here we go. Jason are headed out to the rigs. Got some uh, river fish trolling. The sun's coming up. What do you say, man? Where you at, Henry? <laughs> Who's Henry? Oh, he he naming the fish already. Well, Jason, you're almost to your first rig. What do you think? Let's do it. I'm ready. Where's that big fish at? Henry. Henry, come on, Henry. <laughs> Look at that sunrise, that's pretty cool. Since we had some ribbon fish, I sent Jason out trolling while I went right up to the rig and started catching live bait. He's got a moon fish. Not what I'm looking for. Looking for more threadfin herring or a hardtail or something. Got a rig hook and gonna float away from it. Check him out. Hook it up to that ladder. You have any luck this morning? No. Yeah, not much bait around. How did you guys uh, leave, uh, like 3 o'clock or so? Um, I left right at sunrise, right as the sun was coming up. Yeah. I noticed that there was a trailer and there was some dark. I mean, I came, but you were already gone. Yeah. Got some more guys headed out this morning. Y'all caught anything yet? No, we just got here. Nah. Can't get no bite from the troll. No. You ain't missed much. I ain't caught nothing yet. All right, Jason's screaming, he's hooked up. Let's see what he's got himself into. He's, he's a good ways away from the rig, it must be something nice. Is he taking drag? He's on the other one? Yeah. There you go. He's on there. You got a nice one, brother. Yeah, brother. There you go. He's taking that rod out now. See any color yet? This was Jason's first time BTB, and he hooked up almost immediately. Doing circles, man. Hey. I want to get him on film. Oh, that's a nice king, brother. Ooh. That's a fish, man. <laughs> 
That is a fish, man. All right, now I'm gonna need to stick him. Okay. Bring him up. Lift his head up. Lift his head up. That wasn't a good shot. I like to get him right behind the head so it stuns him dead. That's a good one. We got him now. Imagine going BTB for your very first time and your first hookup is a huge king. What an awesome day. Big old fish. King mackerel. We'll slide him in the bag, keep him for dinner. King balls it is, man. You a bloody mess, bro. I know it. There you go. Glad we it. brought the big bag, man. That's it. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, man, we did that. What? <laughs> Yeah! Yeah, man, he's a little excited, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. We got a moonfish. He's lively. It's the only reason I'm using him because he's spunky. But they, um, they're not a very greasy fish. They're not super good bait, but he's making a lot of racket and a lot of, <laughs> a lot of fuss. So I think he might attract something. Let's send him on down into the depths. I've got him hooked just behind the head. So that points his head down so he swims down, if you can see that. See him swimming? He wants to swim down like that. If you hook him in the nose, they'll go straight behind the boat. If you hook him in the tail, they'll come up. Right behind the head is makes him dig down like that, which is what we want. We'll see what we can't find trolling out here in the wild blue yonder. We just went halfway to the next set of rigs looking for something. Let's see what happens. Give it a what for and his who done it? Yeah. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> no joke. Blair Wiggins gave me this pack of hooks at iCast in Orlando. And uh, all right, Blair, we're going to see if they work. We're going to drop them on bottom by this rig. See what's up. He says that's the best tarpon hook in the world. Perfect size, in his opinion. We're going to see what we can do. Put some big egg sinkers and dropping them down with some live bait or cut bait. A little snapper? Yeah. What is it, spade? <laughs> Are they? These guys were perch jerking a bunch of little reef species that were up close to the rig spades, triggerfish, small snapper, and whatnot. Here we go. We got something. Uh, I got a little snap. Yeah. Look at him. Snagging. Yeah. There's a lot of these way too small to keep, but they're snapping out there. Oh boy. Woo. Yeah, the big spot on him. Man, look at that lane. That's pretty. Wow. That's the biggest one I've caught out here at this, this rig, this short rig.
That's illegal. He is legal. All right, cut ribbon fish, baby. Fantasmic. I don't like to go BTB without ribbon fish. Not only do they troll well, but they make great oily cut bait. He's got to run on that live bait. Oh, he's cutting me off. Oh, man. Cut 80 pound mono. 80 pound mono shredded. I backed off of the steel eater hoping I could hook up with a tarpon or a sail or something exotic. But I think a king got after it anyway, and I didn't have the steel, so he gone. When you're dealing with braid, you can't beat the line cutter's ring. Here I'm holding the tag in in my mouth and I'm slicing this heavy braid with the line cutter. Love that thing. Lots of folks are finding new places to put the line cutter's ring for convenience. Jackson has been putting them on the seat posts. I've been known to put it around my neck on a string. Teresa loves her index finger. This sucker will cut a 100 pound braid folded over four times. So if you're like me and use braid a lot, it's a dream come true. The key to this is small pieces of something. Here they come. See, not only did that ribbon fish catch that huge king, but now I'm using it to chum and catch more live bait. Here come one. Look how small their mouth is. Woo. See that? Yeah, I just need a net. Uh -uh. Here in Texas, we're usually sabiki jigging the rigs for the live bait. I'm always after threadfin herring, um, even skipjack, pinfish, anything oily, bluefish. Today, none of that stuff was around, so we're gonna settle for these Bermuda chub. They got a tiny mouth, dude. Here we go. That's bait. I'm telling you people always carry a little bitty perch hook in your back in your in your backpack. We'll catch a hundred of those. We'll send him to the bottom and catch another one for Jason. Seems like fishing in the aquarium, y'all. Fish on a perch hook. Man, you get a four or five pound Atlantic spade on on your line, they kind of turn sideways. When that flat body, they make an awesome fight and they're I mean, decent eating. I thought we were going to be all alone at the rig today, but there ended up being a lot of company. Where are you from, Nate? San Antonio. All right, what part? Who we got over here in the Malibu? Ryan. Nate Ryan, San Antonio, Texas, representing. We're going to catch a few more bait fish out here at this rig and we're going to Take off trolling, see what we can't catch. Go for Mexico. We decided to troll straight out from the rig into the gulf, so we caught a couple more baits and headed out. All right, I had a kingfish leader handy. I've got this pin fish, so I'm just gonna use this king leader on this pin. Like that. <clears throat> one through the nostril, one through the back pin. Drop him over. And uh, we're gonna since we got some pins now, we're gonna troll pins and ribbon fish. Here comes a crew boat. He's gonna service this rig. So the guys that are tied up to it, they're gonna to have to leave. Coming in hot. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> They'll come in and grab onto that rope that's hanging. Yeah. Somebody will jump on there and go check something. This is gonna get real interesting. He thinks like, get away from that rig, boy. If you're fishing in Texas or Louisiana on the coast, you're gonna run into these guys, crew boats. They service the oil rigs. 
they're big, they're fast, and because they're so fast, they throw a big wake. So you gotta give them their space. You gotta let these guys work. Once they're gone, you can go back to fishing at the rig. Tell you what, crew boat or not, the What Nation fans were all over the Gulf that day. What's the name? Brenna, Mike. Richardson. Where are y'all from? Here. Oh, all right. I like the editing. A lot of fun. <laughs> I appreciate it. Sorry about that king. <laughs> oh, that's all right. That was a fun time watching that one. Yeah. I absolutely love running into 30 Mile Out fans, the What Nation. It's getting stronger and stronger, y'all. Well, people, we're getting close to the truck. It's been an amazing day. Uh, I struck out. Going home with Big King. I got dinner tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to thank all the fans from 30 Miles Out for always watching the episodes. There was probably six or seven people out there, and I ran into four of them that watched the show. At least, maybe five. So, thank y'all very much. And uh, let's see if we can get these jacks in without flipping. What is it, a little black tip? Ribbon fish? You hit the ribbon? Pin fish? Is that your first black tip? Shark period. What? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, we're gonna go on backwards today. So I'll just paddle backwards a little bit until I start seeing them in front of me. When I see him in front of me, just punch through him. The waves weren't bad. I just wanted to show Jason what to do for when the waves do get bad. Jump out as quick as I can. Still trying to suck me up. We did it! What? What? <laughs> I really don't think Jason's gonna forget this trip anytime soon. Huh? Yeah! What do you know about that? <laughs> right here, 30 miles out, baby. That was a trip of a lifetime for a great guy. Hey, if you want to go fishing with Teresa and I, just give us a shout at tie on the fly at yahoo.com. Well, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See y'all next time right here on 30 Miles Out.